The PowerChip 100 is delivered on two separate pallets, one comprising the boiler, while the other consists of the auger agitator, the fuel store access panel and fire brake. On placing the boiler in the plant room, the first step is to carefully remove the majority of the protective wooden frame, allowing access to the pallet to which the boiler is attached. After removing the plastic protection around the doors, unscrew the four mounting plates from the pallet. After cutting through the nails in the cross members of the base, these timbers can be removed. Next, remove the doors and ash containers to enable access for the pallet truck. After cutting through the nails in the cross members of the base, these timbers can be removed. Lift the boiler using the pallet trucks. Extend the levelling feet to their maximum height and lower onto the wood blocks to enable the removal of the remaining two timber sections of the pallet. Relift the boiler and lower onto its integral feet. Adjust the feet bolts using a spirit level. Tilt the boiler slightly forward as shown here. Next, remove the packaging from the auger and agitator pack and lay out the components. Select the open section of the auger, ready for fitment. Unbolt the agitator gearbox from the packaging and place in the center of the fuel store. Rest the auger section between the boiler and the agitator gearbox. Hold the auger section diagonally and fasten it to the gearbox using the supplied bolts. Auger sections are splined and must be connected so the flights are in line. Use a jack and wood block to elevate the auger section. A straight line of sight with secure fixing at all joints should be achieved. Here, a proper connection of the midsection feed auger and the gearbox open auger can be seen. It is vital to marry the flights correctly. Next, carefully lift the auger motor and gearbox into position by lowering them onto the boiler. Adjustments can be made to allow the auger to agitator feed to be positioned at various angles. Angle adjustments can be made up to 180 degrees. The auger support leg and gearbox must be adjusted and bolted to the floor. Fasten the four bolts connecting the auger to the boiler. Next, bolt the springs, taking care to follow the instructions on the agitator plate. It is vital to follow the instructions, ensuring the long and short springs are fitted correctly. Next, attach the agitator plate and tighten the centre bolt. When in use, the plate does not turn. Its function is to support the column of chip in the store while the agitator springs turn beneath. The next step is to fit the insulated tray beneath the boiler. Return the ashtrays to the boiler. Refit the doors. Finally, remove any remaining packaging. The boiler is now complete, with the access fire stop now left to be fitted between the open and closed sections of the auger.